The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at this German DAX on a four-hour chart. You can see the various patterns it completed up here uh, on the 4th of July, which was not a holiday over in uh, uh, the UK. Wow, what a big surprise that is. Folks, let's just talk just a little bit about trading uh, uh, today. And the reason for that is, you know, trading is simple, but it's not easy. Uh, that was a quote from Mark Douglas's book, uh, The Disciplined Trader. And believe me, nothing could be further from the truth. Let me give you a, a little example of what trading is like. Let's say you have a six-year-old son who has to have an appendectomy. And you go into the hospital, and it's at 2.30 in the morning. And the only person available to do the operation is a second-year resident that has never done an appendectomy before. You're not going to feel very comfortable about letting that man take out your son's appendix, are you? No. What you want is you want the chief of surgery to take out that appendix because he's taking out 10,000 of them. It's like uh, listening to a record for him. He, he, it's nothing. It's like it's second nature. And that's what trading is about too, folks. That's why when, when you're a trader, you have to have all the, the same thing that the doctor has to have. You have to have patience. And, you know, the, the doctors bury their mistakes here. We just move on and, you know, pick out something else. So when you, when you learn to trade, you have to be able to get it inside your head, that most important cycle, which is between your left ear and your right ear. If you get that cycle right, all the rest of it falls into place. But the problem is people want to start out trading because it's so easy to enter these markets. It's one of the industries where you have the easiest entry you could ever ask for. You don't need a degree. You don't need special training. You don't need anything. All you need is to be able to put up some money and start trading. What's so hard about that? Well, the difference is, is you've got to learn what trading is all about. You know, and I'm a pattern recognition trader, and I, I know there's a lot of other ways to skin the cat. I'm not saying anything against cats, but there's there's a lot of different ways of uh, of getting this done. I just happen to, you know, I don't believe the fundamentals. I, they've lied to me so many times over the past 56 years that I don't believe a darn thing they say ever. And uh, so I just look at the bar charts, and yeah, that looks okay, that looks okay. And then if I do it, I want to be able to see it. But the only way you can do it is to practice and go and look and, and see what the market's doing. It goes up and down, up and down. And believe me, I, I had the longest journey to figure this out, folks. I really did. Fortunately, I've been lucky on certain things. You know, I got to work for Drexel Burnham Lambert. Uh, I was bullish gold and silver from 1976 to 1982. That made it pretty easy. Uh, but, you know... Uh, you really have to have that 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 confidence that you're able to do that. And the only way you can do that is to work on the mental part of the trading, folks. Honest to God, it's a it's a mental game. Now, this morning I happened to be uh, a, a tiny bit tired because I actually got a good night's sleep last night. I slept over six hours, which for me is like a 14-hour marathon sleep. So uh, I have to be extremely careful of what I'm looking at today. But, you know, I only look for three or four really good patterns every day. Sometimes they come in, sometimes they don't but they sometimes they work and sometimes they don't that's that's happens to everybody now someone someone questioned you know whether this stuff really works or not well let me give you an example folks they have the thing called the timers digest here uh, in the united states where they they gauge all the people that uh, for the year and for the quarter on how well they do and i'm very proud to say that in the top 10 of those timer digest you know, four of those people are, are my students and people that I worked with for a long time. I, I used to do that timer digest way back in the 80s when I was, uh, you know, just starting to see the light on this stuff. And believe me, my light didn't come on until 1988. Honest to God, I mean, it well, 1987 is when it really started, when I started doing this stuff with Dr. Miller. But in 88, 
uh, after I had met Bryce Gilmore, then it became really apparent that uh, uh, that this stuff was really going to work for me. And my aha moment was in Switzerland. And that's where I was doing the charts and I had six positions on and I got stopped out at all the longs at a 1.27 expansion. And I got stopped out of all uh Excuse me, the shorts. I got stopped out of the shorts at the 1.27 expansion, and then the markets collapsed. And in my longs, uh, I was long at the 61% uh, retracement level, and I got stopped out uh, at the 1.27 level. But what I did was I went back and started to reconstruct this, and then about six months later, I met Bryce Gilmore, and he showed me the structure of the market. So when I'm doing these patterns, I'm looking at the structure of the market and highs and lows and how the market reacts to that. And that's really what I'm trying to do is to match these patterns, you know, with the things that I'm looking at. And, and believe me, there are lots and lots of patterns out there, folks. You start doing these smaller charts like 5-Minute and others, you're going to, you know, see a lot of patterns. And you can trade some of those, but you've got to be able to understand what you're doing when you're trading it. If you're trading a 5-Minute chart on the euro, that's certainly different than trading a daily chart on gold. They're different. So you have to decide, you know, what you're – you know, what your actual uh, thing is going to be, you know, what your uh, risk is going to be. That's the whole key is how much you have to risk. And you only have to be right about 30 percent of the time, actually, to catch some of these things. But, you know, if you practice a little bit, you know, you're going to be able to get above 60 uh, percent. And you get above 60 percent, then you're talking about some pretty serious uh, shekels in there. And that's the, the real key to look at. Now, tomorrow, excuse me, today at 4.30, I'm going to be doing Tom O'Brien's show between 4 and 5, and Norm Winsky is going to be on, and he's going to be talking about his uncle Abe, Abe Silverstein. He was a Warner Von Braun's right-hand man. He's the man who named the Apollo and Mercury uh, programs for the moon, and he also selected the astronauts for those. So this guy was, uh, you know, he's really very, very special. So uh, Norm's going to share some stories and some pictures. Uh, they're doing a, uh, they're doing, getting ready to do some type of a large, uh, 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 I don't know what you call it, uh, the museum or something, you know, to give him credit for, for what he did. So that'll be quite, quite nice to look at. Now, folks, yesterday when we were on the show, we were talking about that S&P problem. And uh, yeah, the school of hard knocks, that's for sure. Uh, let's move on here to the to the next one. Yes, when we were on the show yesterday, we were looking at this pattern that Maria had posted for us uh, in the den. And uh, you notice that we were looking for the price to come in around 29.65 in the uh, E-mini S&P. And uh, as you know, last night, you know, we were able to get down uh, exactly to that level. We'll just put this up and let you folks take a look at it and put the pattern in so you'll be able to see it. And there you are. There it is right there. Now, it, this is – we've rallied up to 29.69. I don't know where we are now. But, folks, this market has made a double ABCD. You can see that right there. You can see the, the, the high at 29.88 and uh, the low down there at uh, 29.64. If we go below 29.64, this is going to be very, very suspect for a, a failed pattern because you're going to be breaking below the 78% level and – you know, you're going to be breaking all those ABCDs, and that's how you determine the trend, is when they start breaking these new lows, that's how you determine the trend. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. We'll pay a few bills and be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've uh, request to take a look at uh, Bitcoin. So I posted it up here as of uh, yesterday. Today, we've broken substantially above the 12,000 level, which we've been expecting it to move higher. The reason for that is, is that 382 retracement that we made from the low from 3,200 came in exactly at 9,800. It was also a perfect 61% retracement from the low in on June the 4th. So that tells you that you're looking to go uh, higher. And uh, just a little bit above 13,000 sets up the ABCD structure that'll take it above 16,000 should we get to that level. Now this happens to be a four hour chart. The reason why I bring this up is because one of my students from over in the UK actually trades this a lot and he sends on his work each day and I forward it on to what you folks are looking at. I don't look at Bitcoin. Uh, I have not traded it. I don't plan to be trading it, but uh, maybe in the future, possibly. But I do watch it because it's in the forefront of the news most of the time. And some people that are very smart told me that this stuff about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology is uh, certainly here to stay. I wanted to uh, share one other thing. We get a uh, – oh, by the way, we just found out that uh, at TFNN, uh, Al, our, our main technician there, his uncle, Fred K. Alden, was the NASA engineer who designed the cameras that we use on the Apollo moonshots. Boy, that's uh, that's really probably quite cool. I just uh, – it's really I have, well, I'm not going to get into that. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, one of our one of our friends here from out in this, the old state of Washington sent us a cool chart uh, from the hold on a second so we can get it up here from the uh, Elliott Wave theorist uh, showing this pattern that we've been talking about over the past few weeks and that uh, whoa that didn't work out right. Hold on here we go. And you can see here, this is the uh, expanding triangle that you're looking at. What actually, this is the, the shorter term version, you know, the longer term version is still in there. Now, 
the market, you know, this may or may not be a three drive pattern and also a, uh, a six uh, a reverse point wave because if we go above those highs that we made last Friday, that would certainly tell us that we're probably looking at a market that uh, wants to go higher. But right now that pattern is in place and I think we posted that yesterday. Let's just double check. Yes, uh, let's get it up here so we can see it. Here's our version of it. And uh, there were a few other things on this chart that are important. You have that three drive pattern, uh, which is the one, three, five pattern that you see there. Then you see the two pair, the two triangles. Those are the reverse point waves. And uh, you also have a double top in here. So that's, uh, uh, this could be a major, uh, you know, major correction here. Uh, should we get to that level? Now, someone's asked whether it'll be a major top. No one knows that. It's still too early to tell. You know, just like the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds, you know, they reversed up there near that 61% uh, level, but it took two weeks of dropping open interest uh, to get the market to actually shake out a little bit. We, we've dropped two and a half points, almost three points in the Treasury bonds uh, over, you know, since last Friday with really bullish news. And now we'll see whether that's going to be, uh, you know, very, very important or not. We, we really don't know that, but nobody else does either, folks. That's what trading is about. It's about observation. It's, you know, speculation comes from the word speculare. A Latin derivative of that is to observe. And that's what we are. We're observers. And the main chart that you want to look at every morning, the first chart you look at is that one in the mirror. Because you want to be able to get that chart correct. If you get that left ear to right ear cycle correct, you can do it. Because if you come into the market and think you're going to win every day, you're going to win a lot more than if you think you're going to come in and lose every day. You know that? That's basically it. <laughs> anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, yes, I, uh, Mr. Z is talking about Bob Prechter, and Bob is a, definitely he's a genius. He belongs to Menzies and another somebody's, uh, I think, the 999 club, which means that they're in the 99.9 point percentile of knowledge. And uh, believe me, folks, uh, I would be uh, carrying dishes into that group because uh, this old country boy, he's, uh, he's not in that class at all. But I knew I can do a few things right, and that's what I know. I, you, do you remember the, you remember one of my great movies? I love Clint Eastwood, I think. I never got to meet him, but I love him. And I love his movies, and one of my favorites, of course, is Magnum Force, where he says, a man has to know his limitations. And believe me, trading is all about that. You have to know your limitations. You always got to be focusing on, you know, to take care of yourself. And another quote from the movie Knock on Any Door with John Derrick, where the, the theme for the, for the Navy SEALs uh, is in that movie, live fast, love hard, die young, and make a good-looking corpse. Well, uh, John Derrick played the detective in that, and he said, I never walk into a room without knowing three ways to get out of that room. And that's what you got to do with trading is you got to realize that you're going to have to kiss a lot of frogs in that swamp before you finally find that princess. And that's it. And speaking of princesses, let's take a look here at the British pound today, folks. We've been watching this for a very, very long time, and uh, it's down in this area. We have broken support. Let's just get this down into area, and we'll see where we are. We've been waiting for this to happen. We broke the support at the 25 level, and now we've come down uh, pretty hard. This is a weekly. We have now, folks, we have now taken out the weekly lows from 2019. Can you believe that? At 12441 uh, four, was the old low, and the low today was 12440. One tick. It made a lower low than it did in December of last year by one tick. Now, that to me, you've got to bring up the old flagpole and say, hey, this is an alert. There might be a really good trading opportunity here. So your job as a trader is to go in and say, all right, this is the weekly. Let's go down to the daily and see what the daily chart is doing. And then if you see the daily chart has a pattern and it has a ratio, then by golly, you've got a trade set up. You know, that's it. If you, if you can be right, you're not, hey, you're not going to be right all the time. You're not going to be right 70% of the time, most of the time. Some people are good enough. I, actually, my figures, I'm, I'm right about 61% of the time. Sometimes it's uh, a little higher. Sometimes it's a little lower. But I will tell you this. Uh, when I was working with Mark Douglas here in my office, uh, he was writing the book. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, oh, 
<laughs> trading in his own. I uh, and he, he these traders would come in and he would interview them and you know we would have a lot of fun, go to lunch and dinner and made a lot of friends and stuff. But uh, the main thing that he looked at was uh, statistics, and he looked at my statistics and. When I am when I make better than 75 to 80 percent of my trades profitable, I make a lot less money than when I'm hitting at 50 or 65 percent. I know that seems strange, but that's the truth. Now remember, I I'm not an I'm well, I'm an active trader, but I don't trade a lot. I mean, I'm looking for one or two good trades a day is all I'm looking for. And when I find those setups, those are the ones that, uh, you know, I try to say this looks pretty good. And, you know, it's been working okay, but it's never perfect. You know, look at, look at the bonds. We tried the bonds three times before we got it right. And I'm not even sure we're right yet. Even though we got a lead in them, it still doesn't mean very much. But it's still a little bit early. So let's pay attention to some of these things about the psychology of this. I hate to get off on a rant, but this is what trading is all about. And I'm sitting here looking at the picture of Mark Douglas, and that's what made me comment about this. Let's take a break, pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and they're chatting in the den about the hog market because uh, the hog suppliers are uh, bringing out uh, – 
you know, information about there's going to be a burdensome supply of hogs over the next few months, and that's pushing the prices down. I have to tell you uh, this next story. I don't believe I've ever talked. Well, I probably have after 10 years of doing this, but I don't remember doing it the last time. But one of my most memorable experiences on the floor of the Merck was back in uh, 1983. I had started trading on, in uh, 1982 in January, and I stayed in the in the Merck pit back on the one on uh, when we were on uh, uh, Jackson Boulevard. Uh, in the old building, uh, now it's in the all new building. But th they had a um, the 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 financial part was on the north side of the building, and the hogs and bellies and cattle was on the south side of the building. And that's where I I stayed because I did a lot of hogs and cattle uh, trading uh, at the Merck when I was there. So those people knew me uh, at Lynn Waldock and Jack Carl. I mean, I and, and Refco. I mean, I, they knew who I was because I put in orders of three and four hundred contracts at a time for my customers at Drexel. So, and so I stayed down at that end. The other end was the financial area, and I never I only went into the pit one day and I got I got tagged for a sixty eight hundred dollar out trade. I never went back into the pit. I just handed my orders in, paid two dollars in, two dollars out, and I didn't have to worry about out trades anymore. But on this particular day, I had been short three pork bellies and uh, a report a cattle report came out. It was a cattle inventory report. It was uh, January, I believe. And uh, the report was, oh my God, was it bullish? And I'm short three bellies, and I'm just, I'm just really upset with myself because I'm short three bellies. They're gonna, I figure they're gonna be up the limit one or two days, so I'm looking at probably a seven, eight thousand dollar loss. And so uh, Jan Sklar, who uh, was my clerk when I was at Drexel, he, she worked for her father down on the floor. And uh, she was now working for Maury Zeidman, who held the main deck for pork bellies. He was a little guy. You know, he's only about five foot six. So I walked over to Jan. I said, Jan, see if you can get this on top of the deck, his trading deck, so I can get out maybe one limit up or something like that. And she said, I'll, I'll do what I can. And five minutes later, she comes back and she says to me, Larry, he wants to talk to you. Oh, my God, did my heart sink. I said, oh, my God, what have I done? I've asked for preferential treatment. I walked over to him, and he was standing on the first step, and we were about eye to eye at that level. And he said, I understand you got a problem, kid. And I said, yeah, I do, sir. I said, I'm really sorry. I said, I'll take any penalty you give me. I said, I know I shouldn't have done it, but it was on the spur of the moment, and I was upset. And he said, what are you upset about? I said, well, there's a very, very bullish report on uh, cattle and um, get a little emotional here and I said I looks like I'm going to get hit pretty hard he said oh he says oh he says pork belly is going to be up the limit and I said well the cattle are going to be up the limit a couple days he said is our pork belly is going to be up the limit and, and I said well I don't really know and so he had his deck there in his hand this is the only time in all there in all the years I was there that I ever saw the deck he opened up the deck and the first the first order was to sell I believe 500 February pork bellies at the market and he closed the, the, his hand, his little hand, and he said, uh, that's just the first one. He said, now go back and trade with those animals in the financial pit and leave us alone. Cattle opened about 20 points higher and went limit down immediately. Bellies went limit down for three days. So just because these people tell you something's going to happen, folks, that doesn't mean it's going to. It really doesn't. You know, it, it just really doesn't. It's uh, you, you got to you, you're the one that's got to decide whether you want to buy or sell. You're the one that has to take the responsibility. The toughest job that I have, folks, is doing that 24 seven service for uh, TFNN because I put in orders to tell people what they should hard what they should do, and that to me is a it's a it's a lot of pressure to do that because, you know, I, I see the trade and they, some of them work, some of them don't. Overall, it's been pretty good, but you know, we take some, we takes our hits just like everybody else. But I have people that uh, you know drop me an email saying I put everything I have into live hogs. I said, oh my God, you know, what are you doing? I mean, I, you can't do that kind of stuff. This is it's about pattern. You know, patterns completing, and it's about risk control, and about you know being right more than you're wrong. That's really, uh, you know, really all you're watching. So just keep that in mind. You know, that's uh, that's the main thing that you got to to do. That I, I don't know about having a great heart or not, but uh, I do. I'm concerned about people uh, in this business because you can lose a lot of money in this business, but you can also make a lot of money in this business. But you got to know what the heck you're doing, and that's what most people don't do. They think because they have a lot of money that they can make money. The worst traders starting out are doctors.
A, they're pretty smart, and B, they make a lot of money, but C, they don't know what the heck they're doing. But they get in there and they just keep throwing darts at it, and sometimes they get it right, but most of these guys, they, you know, they just don't do it. Uh, do it the right way, but uh, you know, trading is a lot different than uh, any other any other profession because there's not any universities where you go to trading university and get your master's degree in trading. You get your master's degree in trading in front of that monitor when they beat the hell out of you enough. Then you get your master's degree. Until that time, you don't have the master's degree. Let me double check to see what some of these markets are doing right now. I did post the chart of the Japanese yen, and I wanted to talk about that. Uh, let's see what. Oh, we're getting a little nice little up move here in the S and P, which we were hoping. So we're 29.71. Uh, boy, we, the one thing you don't want to do, folks, is you do not want this to go below uh, 29.63. Uh, in that, that's uh, that's really for sure. You don't you don't want to let that happen. That's uh, the main thing to look at. Okay, let's uh, just move on just a little bit here and discuss a little bit more. In fact, one of the this I pressed, I posted the Japanese yen chart and the reason let me post it again because it's been a while. Let's get it up here. All righty. Okay. Okay. Let's get this down here and you'll see here. Uh, let's get this stuff working right if I can anyway. Hold on just a minute. I think I messed up. Shut the front door and we'll see if that is the case, yeah, yeah, we're okay. There's the Japanese yen chart. What I want you to focus on, folks, is way over on the left side where we have the three drive to a bottom pattern. You see that down there? That's a really nice little pattern. Very strong support, that 104.20. You got an ABCD. You got the three drive down, just everything you could possibly ask for. Well, folks, this is the type of thing that we're looking at today in one particular market. And we'll follow along here just to let you folks see what we're doing here. You'll get up here, and here is the, um, here's the British pound now on the daily. You see, we're right down there. Now, you're not going to – this is really hard to believe, folks. You can't make this stuff up. Go over to January the first, January the 2nd of, light, of this year. The market made a low of 2441. The low last night was 2440. I mean by one tick. Are you kidding me? We're now trading at 2475. Whether it's going to continue to work or not, I don't know, but you don't have to risk much at that point. There's a perfect example of lining it up. Do you have to know fundamentals of what's going on with uh, Theresa May or any of that other stuff? No, you're just looking at the British pound, and it tells you, yeah, if I buy it here, I only have to risk this much. So that's that's what pattern recognition tries to do for you. But there's a lot of other things involved with it, too. Look at look look how well Steve Rhodes does. I mean, he looks at pattern recognition and a whole lot of other things, you know, to get his uh, his signals lined up. Hopefully, uh, this week, I'm going to try to get Kerry Szymanski on in the afternoon when I'm doing Tom, Tommy O'Brien's show. And we'll see what he can tell us. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. All right, folks, we're going to take a look here at the uh, November uh, soybean chart. That's new crop beans. Uh, going back to last February, we made a beautiful ABCD pattern on the bottom there. Uh, right around uh, the 1st of May, you know, that's when the tariffs are really getting into the, uh, the game game the game plan for people, and they were afraid we were never going to sell another soybean uh, to China. Of course, the market turned at that point. But look at point C there, folks. You'll notice that it makes a perfect uh, a butterfly pattern. Uh, excuse me, that's a three-drive pattern, uh, and it's also a Gartley pattern. I mean, you got so many numbers coming together there at the 970 level. I mean, that was really good. And you notice it breaks, and it, it stays there. It never goes above that high. And that's why, you know, when, you, when you're looking at some of these things, you know, the market will go down and back and forth. And unless you have your game plan set up that I'm playing this thing to the downside, you know, you might get chopped around a little bit, even though there's, you know, smaller patterns in between. But let's see where we are now. Since we made our bottom there in May, the market rallied from uh, just about a buck and a half a, a bushel, which is 7,500 in soybeans. And over the last several weeks, you can see we made the ABCD pattern up there at 944. Uh, that's where uh, Simon Lee and Rich Anderson were were getting short, and that turned out to be a really good one. And now, you know, we're coming down to 382 support here, down about another uh, nickel or so uh, in the November bean. So pay close attention to that. That'll be a real interesting one to look at because it's got a real probability there of having some kind of a bounce. Now, we are way oversold in this market. And uh, so keep in mind that uh, this is, uh, you know, just a pattern that's, you know, you have to decide where you want to buy it or sell it. But I would go down to a, you know, smaller time frame and look at it and see if you have even super support down there at 882. Now, I, I don't have time to, well, I do have time to do that. But uh, yeah, let's just do that. What the heck? Let's just bring this up for a, uh, just move down to an hourly chart here. And we'll move this up a little bit here. And oh, there you go. You'll be able to see it here. I'm not even going to draw the pattern in. Let's do something a little different today. Let you draw the pattern in. Uh, oh, someone, uh, Bill's asking, how do I term an oversold? Oversold? I mean, you've been down eight days in a row. That's pretty much oversold. Anytime you're, anytime you're three days down, you're oversold. And uh, when you get eight days down, you're very oversold. So now you can see that you've got a three-drive bottom uh, forming here, probably really close to that uh, 882 level that we're looking at. So keep an eye on those beans. That's going to be really interesting to see if they're going to be, uh, to see what's going to out, to see what's going on.
Okay. All righty. Let's, uh, let's move on to one other thing that I wanted to talk about, folks. Uh, and uh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, shut the front door and raise there. Oh, here it is. I want to talk about the TBT here a little bit. Let's get this up here. This is the ETF for the 30-year Treasury bond. You'll see here we've completed that big ABCD pattern. This looks a lot different. We also made lower lows than June, folks, and that we did complete the ABCD, and we believe that, uh, you know, the bonds have made some type of a top in here, but whether it's going to be much of a top or not, uh, I don't know, but nobody else does either. So that's the that's the key thing to uh, pay pay attention to as we're looking at some of these things. Okay, let's uh, let me double check what the prices are doing because, because this is the key part uh, of the day, and I wanted to uh, make sure that I don't miss anything here. Uh, Say, so let's just see what we should go to in the uh, in the E mini S and P here. We're trading at 29.72. We got down to 29.63. Now, if you're if you're really watching this, and let's say you're really bullish or really bearish, if you're bullish, you bought it right. And the the key the key thing to look at today, from my perspective, is to see what the last what the last rallies were. Well, the last rally was 26 dollars. So you had or 26 handles. You had 26 to the uh, 2964, that's going to take you to 90. So you'd be looking to sell at 2990. Well, what is 2990? That's the 61% retracement of the move, folks. Now, maybe it doesn't get there. That's what we have to decide. You know, what is your game plan going to be, you know, during that time? So uh, just keep that in mind that, uh, you know, <laughs> you don't know which pattern's going to work. You just got to select the one that you that you think is the best. You know, we have a bearish bias on the market. Whether that's going to mean a whole lot, you know, I don't know. Right now, it's working. It could change. Uh, you know, in a heartbeat. But that's the key thing. The one thing I feel pretty comfortable. Well, no, 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 no. Let's don't use that word comfortable. That's not a good one. Is to watch the bonds, folks, because if those bonds get below 154. Uh, that is going to mean that over the last three weeks of dropping open interest, you know, people leaving the market, uh, that doesn't mean there's many buyers there, folks. And that means the pressure will be to the downside. And they've been feeding as cannon fodder. Well, let's not. And maybe it's true. You know, maybe there's going to be, you know, zero interest rates, but it isn't going to happen right now. And maybe it's all wrong. You know, they get things wrong. You know, they got things wrong. They got things wrong about the Asian hog uh, population. Look at that. Hogs drop 30 cents a, a pound in the midst of the most bullish news you could get. So trade what you see, not what you hear. That's the main thing. You got to try to realize that, that that's relatively important, but, you know, we'll have to remain to be seen. Personally, what I'll be looking at is uh, there should be really strong resistance at that 2976. Uh, that's up, uh, you know, about 13 handles from the bottom. So I would think that that's what we'd be watching to see if that's going to hold that level. But if we get there and then turn down, it's going to be pretty nasty. And, and that key level of 29.63 is really important, folks. I mean, it really is. If you look at the, you know, do the work yourself. You know, prove these patterns. Go, go look at your high to low and low to high. See how many, what was the rate of change on the way down? How did it get there? You know, why did it stop there? You know, that's what these numbers are trying to tell you. And they're only probabilities. They're not certainties. So very, very important to keep that in mind as we look at that. So you don't know when these patterns are going to work and if they're going to work. That's the that's the whole key to looking at. I want to finish the show. Uh, let's get up that gold market because I really believe that we've got a chance uh, in this gold to get it down to the area we've been waiting for for a long time. And that's at that uh, 1380. Uh, 1380 is going to be the ABCD. It's going to be the 382 of the low from way back in May. Whew, boy, it's got a lot. It's going to be down 60 some dollars from the high. Wow, it's uh, it's got a lot of stuff there. Uh, whether it's going to get there or not, I don't know. My assumption is it'll probably go down there in a spike, scare the heck out of all the longs like it, they usually do, and then uh, then possibly move higher. So that's the one. Uh, that's certainly on the watch list uh, for the gold market. It's definitely looks like it has the possibility of making that uh, 1380 probably this week, because this is only Tuesday. We got uh, what three more days trading, so we should be able to do that uh, pretty good. 
Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Mr. Z saying he has a different view. He said the hog disease and big hog kills in China was not very bullish news for the CME hog futures. Why? Because China has not imported huge amounts of pork. People who thought China would buy pork were wrong. Well, they certainly were. <laughs> so that's a good thing, Mr. Z. You know, that's the main thing. Uh, very, very interesting. I know Mr. Z was bullish during that uprun because we uh, we happened to be long hogs during that uh, that big move up. Unfortunately, we got half that we got we only took half of the move up. It left half of us behind us, and now it's far, far lower than where we got out. So that's an important thing. Let's take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to wind up the show here. Pay close attention to this euro, folks. It's really trying to find support down here at this 112 level, whether it's going to work or not. I'm not sure. The British pound also... Uh, as we just talked about, that we did take out the lows of January of last year at that 124.41. Uh, the low today was 124.40. Uh, that could be a very important spot because the market didn't collapse from that level, which uh, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. This just tells you how much you have to risk to see if you're wrong or right. 
the risk here is really small on a you know contract that's uh, pretty good size. Uh, the other one to watch, of course, is that gold market. Uh, we really believe quite strongly that we got a chance to get to that to 1380 level, and we just told you why we think it's important. Those of you that belong to 24-7, I've been handling uh, har harping on that uh, for quite some time to see whether it's going to uh, hold that level. That means silver would, that December silver would have to get below the uh, $15 an ounce level one more time, which would not be too uncomforting because it's got really strong support. So we'll see whether that's going to happen. Also, as a reminder, today at 4.30, we will have uh, Norm Winsky on. He's going to be talking about his um, uncle Abe Silverstein, who was uh, uh, Warner Von Braun's right-hand man, and uh, he sure has a lot of history of what happened to the astronauts and stuff. So he named the Apollo and the Mercury programs. He was the one that gave him the name, so he must have been doing some astrology. Maybe that's where Norm picked it up. He swears he didn't pick it up from his uncle, but who knows? As a point of interest, Interest, folks. Abe Silverstein uh, is was from Terre Haute, Indi uh, the, this, being in Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh, the Silverstein family uh, had a jewelry store, and that's where I bought the engagement ring for the first Wicked Witch of the West. Actually, she was a pretty nice lady. Anyway, that was just only 18 years old when I made my first uh, engagement. And uh, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Hey, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Uh, trade well. Keep your stops uh, working because if you don't, you're telling the market that you know more than the market does. And that doesn't happen. <laughs>